Welcome to another exciting episode of Cards with Big Boy Trev. I am Big Boy Trev, and today we have an amazing show courtesy of Trans Africa Motors. It's all about last mile connectivity with the 1041 FAW light commercial truck. But first things first, let's take a look at the highlights of today's show. This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, we continue to dive deep into the world of Trans Africa Motors in its quest to dominate this sector with FAW trucks impeccable after sales and service. Finally, we review the most efficient 2.5 ton truck in the market, the FAW CA1041. We analyze its design, cabin features, powerful engine, and give you value for money preposition as to which this could be your next light commercial vehicle. Catch this and much, much more on your Cars with Big Boy Trev this Sunday at 5 p.m only on NTV, the association with FAW Trucks by Trans Africa Motors. My name is Anthony Pitt. I'm the after sales manager for the Trans Africa Motors. I'm in charge of all our head of after sales. We have five branches to do a backup after sales. These five branches, they have the showroom and the workshop and the stores complete. We also have the service vans across all the branches that any truck do not stuck on the highway because of any mechanical breakdown. We also have all the parts for all our models, either old or new. We have all the parts for all our trucks. Look at the back here, you will see our store full of spare parts. And not only here in Mombasa, it is also across all our branches. That is Nairobi, Nakuru, Eldoret, Kisumu, we are also planning to open other branches in the near future. So that is a strategy that is in place. We also have a full team composed of the mechanic, train and qualified to handle both the old and the new models with the Euro 3 engines. We have that capability and we have all the machineries that diagnoses all those problems. As you know, we have three categories of our products. We have the tipper, we have the rigid trucks, and also as well we are for the prime movers all of them will give the warranty a period of one year now this is the key to kenya's most affordable light commercial vehicle introducing to you the fw 1041 light commercial vehicles and it passes starting at 18,000 us dollars you reckon this is your next last mile connectivity truck let's find out we start this TV by taking a look at the design phase of this particular truck and I can tell you of late, FAW have been outdoing themselves. From a design perspective, very modern, clean design courtesy of FAW. As you can see, this 10 for 2 looks elegant. Plenty of lines as you can see here. The edges are smoothed out to, number one, increase efficiency and of course, the windscreen curved to also improve fuel efficiency. I will let you have the letters FAW and the logo of number one, being the number one truck builder in China for the last 70 years. I will let you do have this grill. I like the fact that it's got cylindrical lines and dots in it just to give this car some general sequa. And of course, this rectangular trapezoidal design lamps. They are LEDs, of course, inside the repeater lamps have halogens. So good visibility in any type of road or surface or condition. You're able to see the road quite easily as you traverse the beautiful country of Kenya, Mombasa, Kisumu. Anywhere you are with this 1041, you're able to see quite easily. I love the fact that they've introduced color-coded bumpers, they're metallic, and of course with fog gloves, so that you're able to increase the visibility of the road, and of course the plenty of inside below it. A very flexor, which is part and parcel of regulatory process of owning a truck in Kenya. So, apart from that, visibility is good. Very narrow side pillars, just to ensure that you have less blind spots and you're able to see all four corners of the car including these four mirrors and you're able to traverse this beautiful country of kenya using this fw 1041 now let's move to the side and have a look at the side profile of this particular truck so let's move to the side profile as you can see this is an <laughs> open-sided chassis there's no cargo box but allows us to see the internals of this particular 1041 as i can say this particular chassis is wide and of course the customers are well to ensure that it uses tensile steel to enhance the strength and rigidity of this particular chassis. I told you this particular chassis can carry up to 2.5 tons. It actually carries 1.2 tons more than your traditional pickup. So it makes value because it means you're saving on trips. Again, as you can see, the doors as well have been designed to ensure that there's easy entry and exit as you get into the 1041. Visibility is also good. I love the design where they've done 
this trapezoidal door lining and, and window lining again, je ne sais quoi. That is something that designers have actually thought about even in this commercial vehicle segment space. We have side repeater lamps, as just that anybody driving on the side is able to see where the track is being indicated or where it's moving to. Again, this black wheel arc as well, gives just a bit of prominence, wideness, looks very sturdy and has a stance. Move over to this area where the magic happens. Do have an 80 liter tank that is good for about 400 liters, 400 kilometers rather. Um, and of course, you do have uh, quite a number of things. The engine again is a 2.3 liter, 81 kilowatts or 110 horsepower. And then of course, it's limited to a five speed manual transmission. Again, everything that you see here has been designed to ensure that there's efficiency and maximum power. The GDT is also very good. You have air brakes as standard in this particular truck. Plus, you're able to easily maintain. This is an EFI. It's a common rail EFI engine. Then you can see the computer box is right here and you're able to access it and plug it in and map it depending on it. And this engine is also Euro 3. So clean engine, good power, good performance, good efficiency. So at the back, you have a very robust suspension system. You have tapered leaf springs, of course, to ensure that number one, they will stay on, on the road on any given surface and gives you maximum comfort and able to carry a huge telescopic shock absorbers as well, improves the ride quality and carrying capacity of this particular truck. And not forgetting you have the air brakes here, ensure that you have maximum stopping power at any given time while transporting your goods and services from point A to B. So this makes sense for last mile connectivity. When I mean last mile connectivity, anywhere I pick up goes, this can do the same job twice as better. And that's the beauty of the 1041 FAW truck. So guys, you've seen from the walk around the design perspective, of the FAW 1041 light commercial van slash truck. But the question is, how good is the interior? You step inside and have a look at the cabin of this particular vehicle and it makes me feel like in a passenger car. So what is the most important thing in any truck? It's a forward cab design. Basically the dashboard is further away to create an illusion of space for your needs and for the driver and passengers. Thank you very much. So obviously, as you can see, they've tried really hard to make this car feel like a passenger vehicle. So the highlight of this particular dashboard is this kind of black trapezoidal uh, design this center console here has plenty of spaces you have an fm radio that actually allows you to connect your phone via bluetooth and you're able to play music via usb or auxiliary port it's actually available there are plenty of cables and spaces this year one you can actually put your phone here or number two you can actually store your driving license or your valuables just to ensure that everything remains safe there are black buttons on the left i'm sure those ones are auxiliary buttons if you want to put extra fog lights or you want to have a radio call on your truck you're able to place that quite easily and on the right hand side you do have the hazard and the low beam light adjustment you can adjust the beams so that you're able to focus on the road and see the road quite easily as you traverse the beautiful country of Kenya with this 1041 truck I will it climate control comes the standard that's proper AC and of course it has different modes so if you want to defrost the window or have the air go to your feet or both feet and face be able to adjust that quite easily and of course crank up the temperature either you want it uh, it's called internal circulation or getting air from outside whichever the case is you're able to be comfortable in this car now we move over to the transmission area this is a five-speed manual transmission allows you to explore the full potential of the engine that's right below me this 2.3 liter is actually very good 110 horsepower i mean it's, it's fuel efficient it's got a lot of power and it will give you durability and top that you need to carry the 2.5 tons at the back again you do have a service brake so the brakes here are pressure brakes and not your typical hydraulic or cable brakes so it allows you to have more flexibility and it is more reliable as compared to the ones i've mentioned so moving over to the instrument binnacle again this is where the magic happens the driver is able to see whatever is happening in the car or around the car so on the left hand side you have the speedometer and then the right hand side you have a tachometer tells the engine revs and how you're able to drive quite effectively and in the middle you have a monochrome display that gives you the vital information including temperature including oil pressure and so many other things at the steering wheel as well four spoke i love the design of course we've tried to put some stainless steel finish and the letter number one fw representing the first truck company to build trucks in china by fw 70 years of heritage that is so important so right below the instrument being a call do have a switch here for the fog light it looks very european and of course you do have your signal and low beam high beam stocks over here right hand side is for the wipers 
allowing you to literally enjoy time in this particular vehicle. I love the fact that we've thought about space, big boy trap, six foot one, the split space. The adjustment is also very good on this particular chair. Um, this is the position that I have and it's very comfortable. The steering has tilting telescopic functionality, so you're able to adjust to your preference. And of course, the two seats for the turn boy, very comfortable. They can do deliveries easily. There's a headrest over here. And of course, I like the fact that there's plenty of you know, headroom. There's a light here so that at night you're able to see what's happening. And of course, plenty of cubbyholes and spaces being a cup holder. I love the stuff fact that this is a truck, but they've employed piano black finish. At the end of the day, it's all about practicality and what it can carry. So at the back, of course, you do have the capacity of carrying 2.5 tons. 2.5 right and this price of this particular truck is the same one as a double uh, as a single cup pickup so you can actually customize the particular area the load area if it's a closed-sided box if it's, you're carrying perishables you can have refrigerant a, a cooler refrigerant a cargo box and an open side in case you're transporting goods from point a to b so practicality and flexibility is the name of the game and i love the fact that if you have thought about this for the sme the person who's watching if you're an sme and looking for a truck that makes sense this perhaps could be the next track. It's time for us to hit the road and feel the power of this 1041 FAW pickup. Let's go. In association with FAW Trucks by Trans Africa Motors. Welcome to Kazi Big Boy Trev. Let's My name is Big Boy Trev. We tell about the news and reviews from across the world. Now, Ineos have just unveiled the Grenadier Quartermaster Double Cab in the United Kingdom. Barely six months from the initial launch of the Grenadier Station Wagon, Ineos have just unveiled the Quartermaster Double Cab at the Goodwood Festival of Speed in the United Kingdom. While the Grenadier Quartermaster shares most of its architecture and components to the Station Wagon, its strong and rigid body section ladder frame chassis is 105mm long. The result is a large and versatile load area enough to carry a standard euro size pallet with ease. Let's talk with the design of this particular pickup. Starting from the exterior, the Grenadier Quartermaster design is simple. You're rugged and utilitarian with a boxy shape that pays homage to the classic 4x4 of the past. The large grille and angular lines give it an imposing look, while the chunky tires and raised ground clearance add to its off-road capabilities. The Grenadier also is also fitted with practical features, including front and rear recovery hooks, side steps, and roof rack for carrying gear. It comes in two trims, the standard trail master and the fully loaded field master, which in my view is my top pick. You step inside the cabin, the interior of the Grenadier is surprisingly spacious and comfortable. The Recaro built seats are supportive and offer plenty of head and leg room, while the seats at the back offer ample space for three adults. The cabin also very well appointed with modern equipment including a large touchscreen infotainment system, inbuilt navigation with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. Also, the mix includes a digital driver display with a premium audio system with streaming capability and dual climate control. The Grenadier also offers plenty of storage space including large door pockets, a center console, and a large glow. In terms of performance, the pickup is powered by two engine variants, BMW was 3-liter turbocharged inline 6-cylinder petrol and diesel engines paired to an 8-speed automatic ZF transmission. A center differential lock and two-speed transfer case are fitted as standard both front and rear diff options available. Let's talk about the chassis of this particular Grenadier Quartermaster. It also rides with the same heavy duty 5 link front and rear suspension as with the station wagon and it's fitted with Carraro supplied solid beam axles complemented by powerful Brembo baits and a recirculating ball steering system. The Grenadier Quartermaster boasts a class leading off road capability with 264 mm of ground clearance and 800 mm of wading depth and approach breakover departure angles and travel by any other series production pickup. The model lineup will mirror that of the station wagon and is available in standard Trailmaster and Fieldmaster trim, all which will carry a commercial N1 vehicle classification in the EU. In summary, the Quartermaster will be available with most of wide range of tailored accessories for drivers looking to customize their pickup to their specific needs. Its cargo bay can be fitted with a robust frame and waterproof canvas canopy or a lockable roller turning cover. But the roof rack further increases the carrying capacity and can host a wide range of mounts to carry expedition essentials such as jerry cans, sand ladders and shovels. Local pricing from the Grenadier Quartermaster will be released when the order books open on 1st August. Visit Wooton Automotive in Nairobi for more details about acquiring your next pickup. <laughs> Welcome.
Welcome to Cars with Big Boy Trev Extra. My name is Big Boy Trev. It's all about the news and reviews from across the world. Now, Mitsubishi have just unveiled the next generation of the Triton pickup. Now, the Japanese car maker has just unveiled the all-new Mitsubishi Triton pickup, ready to face the big boys like the Toyota Hilux, the Ford Ranger, and the Suzuki D-Max. This brand new chassis has been designed exclusively by Mitsubishi for use within the Renault Nissan Mitsubishi Alliance and forms the blueprint of the next generation Navara. Now let's talk about the design. Most notably, the front fascia is a product of the firm's dynamic shield concept. The front is characterized by L-shaped LED daytime running lights in tandem with three-point headlights. In the center is a horizontally segmented grille curtailed by a bold silver skid plate and the flank is dominated by large fenders housing the multi-spoke alloy wheels. Now, speaking of the interior, the interior has some significant changes, most notably introduction of a redesigned infotainment screen, while the rest of the cabin layout remains relatively the same as the previous generation. Leather can be found on the dashboard and on the door panels accompanied by accent stitching, while the seats are mostly cloth with leather inserts with sides and the headrests. And let's speak about the performance. Powering the 6th generation Mitsubishi Triton is the newly developed 2.4-liter 4-cylinder diesel engine codenamed the 4N16, which is offered in three output configurations, namely the high output configuration that delivers 150 kilowatts and 470 newton meters at 1500 rpm this configuration utilizes a new turbocharger and combustion system this configuration receives an electric power steering now the second derivative is the medium output configuration limited to 135 kilowatts and 430 newton meters of torque and features a variable geometry turbocharger now for the low output configuration it produces 110 kilowatts and 330 newton meters of torque and features a variable geometry turbocharger the new Triton can be equipped with either 6-speed automatic transmission or 6-speed manual which features a shift-by-wire system to reduce vibration from the engine. The Bucky remains the previous model's Super Select 4-wheel drive 2 and Easy Select 4-wheel drive systems with the Super Select system featuring a center, center differential torque converting slip differential which is configured by a 40-60 split. Let's talk about the suspension. Obviously, in terms of the suspension, the new Triton has and is equipped with the redesigned suspension system comprising of double wishbone structure on the front axles, while the rear axles feature a lighter leaf spring system coupled with thicker shock absorbers to provide much greater ride comfort. Additionally, the stroke of the mounting arm has been increased to 20 millimeters to refine its road holding and ride comfort. In terms of safety, accompanying the full drive system is a newly adaptive active yoke control system purpose to improve cornering stability. A slew of driver assistance systems have been integrated into the 6th generation model ranging from most notably the adaptive cruise control, forward collision management, blind spot assist, lane change assist and rear cross traffic alert. Now, according to reports, the new Mitsubishi Triton will enter the sub-Saharan market by mid next year and the local dealer Simba Corp continues to assemble the current generation of the Mitsubishi Triton with great success. Visit Simba Corporation for more details of when the brand new Mitsubishi L200 Triton will arrive in Kenya. In association with FAW Trucks by Trans Africa Motors. So this is the last mile solution we've been looking for. Introducing to you the FAW 1041 last mile connectivity. This is what we've been looking for. A truck that is able to deliver every single thing to the last mile, to the Kichochoros, everywhere in Nairobi, Kisumu, Mombasa. This is it. So what does it involve? This particular truck is actually the smallest in the FAW family. It's got a 2.3 liter turbo diesel producing 81 kilowatts or 110 horsepower. And of course, all the power is sent to the rear wheels courtesy of a five-speed manual transmission. So fuel efficiency is fantastic. The tank is 80 liters, it's good to do about 400 kilometers on full load. It basically means you are able to deliver goods and services quite easily at uh, twice, the, twice the amount that you would use with a single car pickup. So it makes sense for a business. Plus, you're able to customize the load area. If you're transporting uh, perishables, you can actually put a refrigerator box and have an open top. You can have so many uses of this 10W41 courtesy of FAO. So what is the driving experience? How does the driver feel when they're on the road? The seat is comfortable, the upright position, the driver, as you can see, big boy truck, six foot one, 
is very comfortable on this particular truck. I can drive it for miles and miles and the engine is very nice. It's quiet, it's peppy, it's responsive and the fact that it is very economical, it makes sense for that SME user, whatever you are. So I think for me this is good. So in terms of robustness, the chassis has been welded. This particular truck is built in Kenya and I've seen it being assembled and I can tell you the amazing technology that they use to build this truck is so good. They have done an impressive job. This is Trans Africa Motors to build this truck uh, for local conditions. So everything that you see has been built for the local conditions. You know, the suspension, the chassis, the Euro 3 engine. I mean, it's very modern. Common rail, direct, uh, common rail, direct injection, plus the service brakes are uh, hydraulic. Now, in terms of safety, you have quite a number of active and passive safety features to ensure that you remain safe while on the road. So for the active part, we do have large halogen headlamps that allow you to illuminate the road quite easily. The brakes are dual circuit air assisted. So you're able to literally brake in case one line fails, there's a redundancy. And of course, collapsible steering wheel in case oil breaks loose so that uh, you don't damage your, your feet or your knees in an accident. And that is beautiful. I like the fact that they've got every single thing about this 1041 quite easily. Now, the biggest question still remains, would you pick this over the rivals? What are the key rivals in this particular category? I mean, like for like, the Suzuki Super Carry, but the pickup, the one-ton pickup is the main competitor in this segment. So would you pick this over the pickups? Send us your thoughts as seen on the social media handles, but it's time for us to do value for money, and we are going to do an analysis why this pickup could be the next last mile connectivity truck for you. Stay tuned. So that has been the review of the FAW 1041 at commercial truck. Now, I love the fact that it looks good. It's stylish, it's spacious, it's got good power, very good efficiency, and of course, it's very robust and able to meet the rough and tough of our Kenyan conditions. But the question is, how good is this car in terms of value for money? We start with the pricing. Now, this particular vehicle is sold and serviced by Trans Africa Motors, who are the official dealers of FAW, and it's locally assembled. And prices start from 18,000 US dollars. Plus, you can rely on the extensive network across the country from Kisumu, Mombasa, Nairobi, Eldoret to maintain this 1041 light commercial truck. And the biggest question still remains, who are the key rivals in this particular segment? Because we know this particular category is very extensive. We have the likes of the Suzuki Super Carry and of course the Tata Intra V20 in terms of pricing and of course all the single cabs that are available in the market are two competitors of this particular truck. So, based on that, with the fact that this thing can carry two times as much cargo as your single cab pickup. Would you pick this over the single cabs? And as your thoughts are seen on the social media handles below. We get back to you with the feedback next week. Until next week, drive safe and be safe. with FAW Trucks by Trans-Africa Motors.